Happy Friday, my sweet petunias. I was in the shower and I was thinking, you know, Fridays traditionally are a day when a lot of people are excited to go out on a date. On my YouTube feed, I see a decent amount of dating advice videos, um, anywhere ranging from women giving advice to men, men giving advice to women, men giving advice to men. You know, the thing that I realized is all of these people are missing one huge thing in their advice giving. And I'm going to tell you why in a way they are all wrong. So a lot of the advice that you see on YouTube for dating is talking about, you know, as a guy, you need to play hard to get so that the women are intrigued by you. Or if you're a woman, you need to, I don't really know because I'm not a woman. Um, um, obviously I don't understand women because I'm still single, but the thing that I realized is all of these advice videos are giving it from the perspective of almost a pre-dating app era. And so there's a couple reasons why these advice videos are pretty much useless to almost everyone. The first reason I'll say is none of them account for the fact that a large percentage of people are using dating apps now as their primary way of attempting to find a partner. And that really changes things, I think. So for example, I was watching this video from the channel Psych Hacks where the guy said, you know, basically as a guy, you need to almost make the woman feel like you ghosted them so that they'll want to come back to you. And he said that you want them to feel uncertainty. So that might have been all fine and well if you lived in a village where there were five other semi-possible suitors so that she could just think, yeah, I will go back to this guy. But the reality is, I have a female friend who is very active on dating apps. She pays for all the premium subscriberships and travels a lot. She showed me once, she had 700 matches on Tinder. So all I'm going to say is, in her situation, if some guy seems mysterious and flaky and uncertain, you know what she's going to do? Go to number 1,699 and pick that guy instead. I mean, how do you even decide out of an ocean of opportunities that big who you'd actually want to date? It's not like anything I think we've probably ever experienced before as a species. I think that's a big thing. A lot of these advice videos, they never even cover apps, which to me is a huge oversight because that's almost what everyone uses these days. The second point I'll go into is people's goals are really not the same as they used to be. I mean, you see a lot of these videos are obviously aiming at heterosexual monogamy, probably with the goal of being marriage and kids. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but less people are getting interested in marriage, less people are getting interested in monogamy, less people are interested in traditional gender roles. So the whole like, you know, you being a guy and she's being a woman and you know, whatever, I don't know that that same psychology applies anymore because people identify as many things. They could be polyamorous, demisexual, pansexual, bisexual, bi-curious, and many other things. And so I feel like these videos also definitely overlook the fact that a lot of these very stereotypical roles that they're describing are kind of going away. And then... You know, the last point I'll go over, the kind of like, you know, a guy being an alpha and all this kind of bullshit that people think sells, the expectations of what men and women fulfill for each other, I think is becoming very different too. Advice telling you to just do what like your father would have done 30 years ago before the advent of the internet, I don't think really applies anymore. Now, what I will say is I don't have, I don't a, have solution. a solution. Obviously, I'm unsuccessful because I'm not with anybody. What? what I can say is, if you're sitting on the internet watching all of these, you know, pickup artist fools and all these videos saying like how men need to be and how women need to be and... You might as well just stop. Because it's probably not helping you. In fact, it's probably filling your head with a bunch of misinformation and leading to more frustration and more negative thoughts about whoever you're trying to pursue. So... I'm not going to say, you know, like love yourself or whatever, or to just like really focus on yourself. Like everyone says, letting go and surrendering the desperation and just admitting that you really don't know what other people want. 
is a much healthier step in the right direction towards eventual partnership than trying to like just consume all the information out there. Sending y'all some love. That's it. Have a good weekend. Have a good Friday. If you have a date tonight, I hope it goes well. And if it doesn't go well, I hope you have some awesome ice cream in your freezer and some sweet shows queued up to watch so that you can forget all about it.